Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, January 13th, 2020. College football championship game tonight. Got a couple of props that I'm going to give you here in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to jump on board and become a member of DocSports.com, it is a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, a free $60 account. Get started by clicking on the link below below the video. Three and one for us yesterday. Appreciate those of you who jumped on board. The top place seven star winner uh, was the over between Houston and Kansas City. And boy, that's nice to get that one over 51 by halftime. A couple minutes to go in the first half, they go over the total. So a lot of scoring in that one. We were very happy about that. All sports combined three and one on Sunday. Can't wait till we jump into some of the talk about the AFC and the NFC Championship, which we'll do in a couple of days. But tonight, it's all about the college football championship. And I'll get to those props in just a moment. Here's what's going on for me at DocSports.com on Monday. I'm not going to play college basketball. I hate to pass two days in a row, uh, but there's only one board game, bunch of extra games. I don't like any of them. We're going to wait till Tuesday when we got a lot more to choose from and a lot better spots to choose from in college basketball. As far as the NHL, I'm involved in the NHL. That play up at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. We cashed yesterday in the NHL. Nashville Predators pitching the road shutout, and I'll be involved probably in the NBA. And I say probably because there's only one game lined right now, but there are a couple of games that I have earmarked for Monday. We just got to wait till morning when those lines start coming out. And uh, we also got to wait and see because almost every one of those games involves at least one key player, decent player on a team uh, that is listed as questionable or doubtful. So we got to make sure who's going to be playing, who's not going to be playing. So here's what you do. Uh, if you want to go over to DocSports.com to my homepage and check out and see if I've got NBA, we post those at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific every day. Uh, just go over there and check it out. And at 1 p.m. Eastern, it's going to say whether I'm involved or not. Simple as that. Uh, as far as the NHL, I am involved in Monday's NHL. That play also will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. No college baskets until Tuesday. I do have a five-star play on the side in tonight's college football championship. And uh, again, that play is available right now as we speak. And, and uh, you can go grab that. And again, it's a five-star play on this battle between Clemson and LSU. Here's what I got to tell you about about the betting that's going on right now. We saw this line get as high as six in most of the books in Las Vegas for the college football championship a few days ago. We saw one book, the Golden Nugget, go all the way to six and a half. Uh, globally, didn't, I didn't see any sixes. There might have been one or two, but real short and quick before they came back the other way. Uh, most of the global books that I saw, even as of Friday, were, were sticking at five and a half. Uh, right now, as we speak, there are fives and five and a halves just about everywhere, both in Nevada and globally. There is one offshore book that just went to four and a half right before I cut this video. And I started this video about 1 p.m., excuse me, 1 a.m. Eastern on Monday morning, 10 p.m. Pacific on Sunday night. One book went to four and a half. So by seeing this number drop a little bit in a lot of books, then you know that the tickets have started to come back the other way on Clemson. Uh, they're never going to get all the way back because it was so overwhelming, the one-sided action on LSU once this line came out. Uh, but again, we're talking about 65% of the tickets and the money on LSU, and that's a big drop off from where it was just about 36 hours ago. All right, uh, we're going to get to the props. I want to just give a piece of advice, if take it or not. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned with betting props in both college football and, of course, the Super Bowl, which is coming up in a few weeks, bottom line for me is pick props that can take place and can cash no matter who's winning the game. I, I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket. If I like one side to win the game and they're not, I certainly don't want my props tied into the fact that I thought they were going to win the football game. I want these props to be able to win no matter who's winning the football game, no matter who's looking good, whether it's a blowout, whether it's a close game or not. So that's my starting point, and it eliminates a lot of some of the goofy props that are out there. And I want to get to a couple of the props that I like for you uh, at this time. And one of those props happens to be uh, Justin Jefferson, over eight and a half receptions for LSU. And you know, of course, you got Joe Burrow at quarterback. And I think what you're going to see out of this Clemson defense, which is obviously excellent, uh, you know, one of the top defenses you're going to find that Joe Burrow's ever going to face. Uh, the bottom line is he's not the number one receiver that they're going to likely chase down 
with multiple defenders. You're going to see uh, Jamar Chase, for instance, for LSU, who is their number one go-to guy for Joe Burrow, getting some extra attention. And I think this leaves Justin Jefferson open enough to probably be targeted double-digit amount of times. And I think he'll be able to make a few of those receptions. And that over-under again on Justin Jefferson is eight and a half receptions. And again, this is one of those situations where we don't care if in this spot with this prop, if it's an LSU game or if it's a Clemson in game, we know we've got a chance with Justin Jefferson to go over eight and a half receptions. Uh, as far as a Clemson offensive prop, we do like Trevor Lawrence to complete a pass of more than 50 and a half yards. Shop around, you can find that. And again, he's what, nine of 14 games this season. Trevor Lawrence has thrown a pass and completed a pass for more than 50 yards. He's got the big receivers. He's got T. Higgins. He's got Justin Ross. I think he's going to take his shots downfield. It's part of what they do on offense. And so I do believe that you're going to see whether Clemson wins wins or loses this football game. Whether they're winning at halftime or losing at halftime, you're going to see some deep routes being run by the Clemson Tigers, and they'll attempt to go and beat the LSU defense, which, you know, once in a while has been had this season on the back end. Uh, so I think he's got a real good shot of completing a pass of more than 50 and a half yards. So there's our two props. You got Jefferson over eight and a half receptions for LSU, and you've got the over 50 and a half yards on a reception, on a throw and a reception, Trevor Lawrence and the Clemson and Tigers and our two props uh, for you for Monday night's championship. Again, don't forget NHL 1 p.m. Eastern if we're involved in the NBA 1 p.m. Eastern coming up at 3 and 1 Sunday and also right now as I speak and go grab my five-star side between Clemson and LSU. It's going to do it for me for Monday. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites with DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.